right? So I think a couple days after the last one, it's March 9th today, I believe. This is the piece I'm working on. I'm gonna try and turn this into a Dalton point. A giveaway prize for 500 subscribers to the channel. This is my tool kit that I'm working with. Antler billet, antler pressure flaker, antler indirect percussion punch, and a little you know, rubber and leather pad. I think it's all rubber actually. I need to make something myself, a substitute, prehistoric, prehistoric substitute. Anyways. A little closer to the camera this time. I'm gonna try and keep it like that. If I can. So, you know, looking at the, the outline of the piece, I need to take this in. And I can do that by pressure flaking this way and then setting up a platform to hopefully take a series of flakes down this way. I might do that first because then I still need to set up a platform here and take out this high spot, which was kind of a, a mistake from earlier. This flake didn't really come off the way it was supposed to. I angled it this way when it should have went that way. So yeah, I think that's the sequence for today's video it's probably all all I'm gonna have time for maybe I maybe I can give a, a small little indirect hit right there this is also part of my toolkit forgot to mention little hammerstone but today it's just working as an abrader Gave this a small little sharpen grind. This is how I like to have the, the tips of my pressure flakers kind of blunt with some facets on it. A little bit of a different angle for me to work with to keep this on the camera but I think that should work okay once I get used to it That's probably better there. That might need an indirect hit as well, but I think I don't want to risk it with how thin this tip is already, so I'll try and get a big pressure flake angled down that way. Use my leg as leverage. Oops. <laughs> yep. Yep, one of those days, I guess. Dropping everything. All right, well, I can set something up here and try to get rid of that after I Take some flakes down this way. Off camera, wasn't I? Hard to pay attention to both.
hopefully the camera won't get in the way here when I'm trying to swing this swing this billet should be okay it kind of exploded a little bit but it worked out okay I'm just doing this to set up a good platform to come back the other face. Continuous platform if I can. So I can just take a series of flakes back to back. Okay, I think maybe I can take a nice flake down this way. Just gotta make sure this edge is not too weak. Give a nice a braid right exactly where the punch makes contact, right there. So I guess you can't really see it on camera when I'm actually doing it, but that's kind of how I put the punch on the platform, kind of like that. And I angle it something like this, you know, for a normal flake, something like that for a longer one. So. I'm gonna try and angle it back this way. So I'm going to, I like to just kinda you know, brush the edge with the punch just to see, you know, feel exactly what part is making contact. And then I can adjust as needed. Finally got rid of the the last of the cortex there. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Now I'll take a little pressure flake here, rebuild the platform there, and take another one to follow this ridge that way. I always just give a little brush with the abrader to strengthen it a tiny bit for the pressure flaker. It is quite different filming this close to the piece. I have to be very aware of where I am all the time. So this little small part right there is just a little too sharp. I want to get rid of that. Just a small little flake angled 
to the left there. Just brush away the little weak parts. Okay, now this right there is going to be my platform. I don't have to angle it so heavily towards the back, just a little bit. It's going to want to follow that ridge. Okay, well again it kind of exploded a little bit there, but that worked out. Oops, off camera again. That worked out. Battery is at 10%. Oops. Okay, well, hopefully I can make it to a 20 minute long video before my battery runs out. I should be able to. I think maybe I can set up another platform right away and then take off this step step termination that you know from a little mistake I made earlier and I said I'll remove that later when I can well that time is now so there's the platform I'm going to not hold it at such a hard angle but you know I just want to fan out this flake get a nice wide, flat, you know, thin flake, get under this step fracture and make it look nice. This isn't a crazy thinning type flake. Oops. Okay, that worked. I kind of missed my swing a little bit, but that worked out really well, actually. Cool. I'm gonna need to either sharpen this pressure flaker or make another one when I get down to the really fine details. Maybe this will stay my kind of more blunt pressure flaker and I'll make another one that can handle the, the you know, the late stage stuff and the, any notching or serrating that I'm gonna do. So you can see that this is kind of a kind of a high spot there, but you know the the top of this peak is kind of right here. So I don't want this flake to go too long. So this is hopefully going to be a shorter, wider flake.
that was a little more than I wanted actually, but you know what? That's fine. Flattens that out pretty well. could take another larger flake here, but I don't really... Maybe I should... No, I think I'll just smooth that out and then take a bigger flake here to try and flatten out that area. Tough decision. You know what? do it. Try and take a, you know, a narrower blade-like flake to follow that ridge. Angled slightly towards the tip. Just a small amount of the edge platform there. Oh boy, that was way too much. <laughs> oh no. I always do something like that. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Well, time for pressure flaking to save the day here. You know what, always trust your gut when you think I probably shouldn't take a big flake there. Don't. One day I'll learn my lesson. So yeah, this late in the game, that kind of scar is probably going to stay in there in the final piece. And now I'm going to have to aggressively thin out here, which I was kind of going to do anyways, so... You know what? Let's just go for it, eh? Um, yeah. That should be one of these. didn't sound or look great, but that worked out well enough.
think I need to go for a kind of larger flake here. Hold your breath. Cool. Wow. Really cool, actually. Wow. That was dope. I don't say that often. That was dope. Okay, so, you know, quite a whipped flake there. With a very, very diffused bulb of percussion. You know, it, um, the energy spreads out very quickly and then continues spreading out. And there was actually a little bit more of this flake. It went down to there, but it broke off. And I was talking about this before. I needed to fix this mistake because this ridge was all messed up. It was really high. And this flake came across an overface flake. Perfect. Didn't mess up the opposite edge at all. Um, and just pretty much fixed up all of that. So this thing's still looking pretty irregular. I'm gonna have to do a whole bunch of pressure flaking after after I finish all of the thinning and indirect percussion work here. Um, but you know this piece is gonna be much thinner than I was expecting until I took out this really bad flake and you're always gonna see that mistake in the final piece whoever gets this so I don't know that's kind of cool I think Okay, well this video is over 23 minutes now and my battery was at 10% over 10 minutes ago so I'm probably gonna finish this up now after this flake I kind of need to re resharpen this pressure flaker. It's not the right angle to take big flakes. Yeah, that didn't really work that well. Worked okay. The flake must have just flew right to the floor. I'll fix that later with a finer pressure flaker. Let's see if I can finish the indirect stage on this video. Probably, at least the last large flake here anyways, I'll probably take a couple smaller, smoother type flakes after this. So I don't want it to come as far as this one did, but if it came to right there, that would be perfect.
Nice. I angled it slightly the wrong way, but now that's created a good ridge here that I can follow with the next one. But this video is getting way too long now, so I'm gonna leave it there. This is a really ugly spot, but hopefully I can blend it out a little bit better later with the pressure flaking and you know fix all this kind of unevenness. It's getting pretty narrow, but I think I got a lot of room to work with still for the pressure flaking stage for a Dalton. You know, it's going to be more or less a long triangle like that, and then the base is going to kind of be like this. So it might end up being a little bit shorter, but even if it's like that, that's, you know, kind of an authentic Dalton size. So yeah, if you like these videos and you want to win this piece yourself, I'm giving it away as a 500 subscriber uh, kind of celebration. Yeah, if you want to win it, like one of these videos, leave a comment on one of them, and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate all of those things. I think maybe in the next video I will start putting some names in the bucket <laughs> or the the clay pot I think I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna do something crazy like write everybody's name on a chert flake that you know came off during the process of this I got a whole bunch of them down there write your name on a flake put it in a ceramic pot that I made And uh, yeah, that'd be kind of a cool way to name the giveaway winner, wouldn't it? Anyways, that's enough for now. On to the next stage in the next one. Probably at least a few more, few more parts to this video series to go. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.